Hey everybody, how you doing? Oliver Joyce from Whiskey Barrel Studios and it's the second video for the year and we're two weeks in to 2023 already. How's your year been? Uh, I've been pretty much on holidays, holidays, um, looking after the kids most of the time. Uh, this was my first week back, but even then I still had to take my oldest boy to a couple of activities every morning, so it's been sort of half days. Uh, but you know, in Whiskey Barrel Studios, even a half day can be a productive day. And this week, I've finally been able to add achievements to Swords and Sandals and Mortals. And it's something that I know a lot of Steam players, surprisingly to me, because it's not something I've ever sort of uh, been that interested in. But I know a lot of players uh, like to have achievements in their games and like to hunt for achievements. And it sort of, it uh, you know, adds a little bit of extra life to a game once you feel like, you know, you've finished the game it's want to sort of try and unlock all the different bits and pieces, maybe finish the game with a bunch of different characters. Well, now you're rewarded for those things with um, over 53, I think, 53 achievements at the moment. Um, let's have a quick look at some of them. Yeah, so on the actual Steam website, the Steam page, you can actually see a list of the achievements. Uh, a bunch of these I've actually unlocked uh, by basically sort of cheating through the game. And um, I haven't played through them all properly, but you can see here things like jarring hit to at least 100 points of damage in a single hit. I was able to, you know, you know, hack that one to make it work. So I haven't really legitimately achieved a bunch of these. Uh, 10 of the best win 10 arena battles. Critical hit, defeat a regional champion. Of course, uh, Charlie Critical, Moist Critical is the first regional champion. So he gets the, uh, the honor of that little achievement. Uh, you got to start somewhere, defeat Bruce Useless in combat, natural 20, roll a 20 on the battle dice, uh, a nice easy one, level 10. There's a bunch of, you know, pretty simple ones to get, reach level 10, 20, 30. There are a couple more tricky, obscure ones in there. Um, do a thousand points of damage, damage your enemy by throwing a potion at them, that kind of thing. Um, very old friends, meet the little fat kid on your travels. If you haven't met him yet, you get an achievement for that. You know, this is brand or win a battle by pushing your enemy into a chasm i was gonna say kicking them but i thought well look you know um it, same kind of thing all good full passport vi visit every town in the game that one might be a bit bugged i need to look at that today because someone told me they achieved that without actually visiting every town um one thing i've got to say as well is if you're playing this game uh and you load out one of your existing characters you might not be able to achieve all of these achievements with that current character. You got to start a new character because it doesn't count a lot of the things you've done in the past. It sort of happens in real time. It says, did I defeat this champion? Cool, add it to the list of you know achievements that I'm tracking. It basically, the game doesn't always know how to track things uh, that happened before I added the achievement system. So if you find you're unable to unlock a few of those, even though you've been trying, you got to start a new character. But the time for starting new characters is pretty much almost at an end because the single player content in the game is pretty much wrapped up anyway bunch of these achievements here 53 to um to find which is pretty cool i think if you've got any other suggestions for achievements you'd like me to add um please hit me up in the comments i'm not finished complete with achievements as the game continues i'll probably add a couple of more um just to round it out steam generally gives you up to 100 achievements for most games unless a game is in their opinion noteworthy i don't know how you reach that milestone then they'll give you a space for extra achievements up to you know hundreds and hundreds but at this stage i don't know if sword and sandals qualifies for that we've got 460 reviews at 90 percent. so thank you guys i really appreciate that if you haven't reviewed the game yet and you're feeling uh, charitable i really appreciate a view and make it positive don't if you if you feel really like slamming the game just keep it up here you don't need to review it um, but no honestly i do really appreciate your feedback and uh, all the positive reviews have really helped to kind of you know just push the game along along a little bit further um and i really appreciate that as we basically head out of early access we've got another up to a month i don't know exactly but we're very close i'm very close to having this game out of early access into full release sometime in february and at that point the game is done pretty much now the single player content for the game is done there's no new champions or areas and things like that features to add into the game there's all these things that i'd like to have added and i'll talk about that in a future video you know for downloadable content content that got cut that kind of thing it's worthy but so in particular video but at some point uh you know a creator has to let go of cre his creation and you know let it out into the world and let it be what it is because uh ultimately 
you know, as a solo developer, I can't work on these things forever. And I'm really, really, really excited to work on the next projects, as I've mentioned in the last couple of videos. Uh, this has been a great run, but I'm really just keen to get to the next thing, if you know what I mean. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dane Simono, Daniel Funches, Pookie, Barty X, Cheese Chow, Brandon K, Ilya Gurovich, Pipewitch, Stone God, Timmy Boy, X Up Omega, Jeff Rowe of X3D, Hopeless, Eunice, and Noah Gudajan. A motley crew and a fine crew of sailors that have sailed with me in 2021, 2022, and now 2023. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. And you know, um, the more patrons surprise su surprises surprises the better you know subscribers the better but look i just appreciate you guys being fans of the game i really think it's awesome and if you would like to be a patron that would make my day <laughs> thanks oh. thargan pre eye patch thargan pre cybernetic implant thargan uh link in the um discord i mean the youtube channel uh beneath if you do want to be a patreon so what is next for sword and sandals well as i might have mentioned in the last video achievements uh represent the end of the single player content for the game and right now uh me and a guy over in canada called evan who's been sort of um tinkering with the multiplayer side of the game we're now uh working together on the same branch to basically get multiplayer done and dusted i would say we're probably about 75 to 80 percent done you know it's working you can go into a room you can talk to each other uh you can see other gladiators um you can challenge them and deny the challenge. You can see each other on the screen and you can even fight. Uh, a few weird things are happening where it's not sort of transferring the talents over to between both gladiators. Uh, movement isn't synced up entirely properly yet. Uh, a few things that I got to sort out. There's no leaderboards, that kind of thing. But I'm really hoping we can get that done and dusted and out for you guys sometime in you know early to mid February and then full release. Then we'll be done. Um, I'll talk a bit more about multiplayer in the next video probably because that's kind of my focus for next week. But I just want to also just give a little caveat and just say uh, it's basically something for you guys. It's a bit of a nod to the fans. This is not a big production multiplayer. It's not some big uh, League of Legends thing with tons of multi-boards and stats and proper matchmaking and, you know, even even tons of cheat prevention that kind of stuff this is the most bare bones multiplayer you can find it's basically for you for you and your friends to find each other and you know play against each other using your multiplayer builds um there may be cheating and stuff like that i'm going to look at how i can kind of you know uh, remedy that but it becomes an arms race the more protection you put in the more people will try and cheat that's not to say i won't sort of try something but in the end this is it's just something for you guys it's not the main focus of the game but i do hope you enjoy it if it somehow takes off and all of a sudden we've got thousands and thousands of people playing multiplayer all of a sudden i can invest more in it and i will and i'll get someone on board to really you know make it more robust and you know look at how i can improve the systems in multiplayer but for now i don't want to just you know throw all this stuff into there and you know realistically there's probably not going to be that many people playing the multiplayer just just given the stats of how many people are playing the game now but still something that i know a lot of people have wanted over the years ever since sword and sandals 3. if you played the multiplayer of sword and sandals 3 uh this works almost identically you know you've got the rooms you go in the room you see the list of gladiators you challenge and then you come back and you can go to a shop and upgrade your character uh, multiplayer characters will be separate from single player characters so you've got to start a new multiplayer character you can save them of course but multiplayer for multiplayer only and single player for single player only and that's just kind of a balance thing and also just you know i just wanted to keep them separate just for ease of everything if you know what i mean all right my friends that's about it for today um thanks for being a, a subscriber of the channel we're over eight thousand subs now um let's see if we can get it to ten thousand before the end of the year you know uh still a small channel but any anything can happen ten thousand hundred thousand one million subscribers we'll see uh i really appreciate you guys being with me over these years and this year will be a bit more fun i think you know as we you know move on from sword and sounds and mortals and onto the next big thing i'm really looking forward to bringing you guys with me on the journey and i think we've got you know i'll explain a bit more soon about what uh i've got to do before i can start that january and february are pretty much write-offs but come march new game work begins on a new game all right, my friends, enjoy the achievements. Make sure you download the latest build of the game and uh, let me know in the comments if there's any achievements you can think of that you'd like me to add. Until next time, my friends, enjoy your weekend and bye for now.